Miss Georgina Sinclair of the New York City Ballet. Georgina, I'd like to introduce you to Nikolai Rostov and to my daughter, please. Oh, we already know each other, don't we, Goya? Yes, last year. How have you been, Gina? I've kept myself busy. So you want to be my partner? You said you wanted to dance with me one day. Remember? The opening night of our season? How could I forget? Your performance was magnificent. Now's your chance. Shall we see if we have the right chemistry? I enjoyed that as much as I thought I would. Thank you, Georgina. Well, what do you think? Isn't she divine? Don't leave on my account. Bliss, isn't it? Yeah. I was looking for Kolya. Oh, he'll be here any minute. We're rehearsing our new pas de deux. Stick around. Oh, I'll come back later. Three's a crowd for a pas de deux. You can watch. I don't mind. Actually, I don't think we need the rehearsal, but that's Kolya. Never lets it rest. Yeah, I keep forgetting you two knew each other. Last year in New York, you might say we had our moments on stage and off. But you know how intense Kolya is. And dance is so intimate. All that touching, all that hate between two people. And Russian men can be so passionate. And you're just a girl who can't say nyet. Please. Ready to work, Georgina? Ah, uh, in a minute. I uh, just want to change my shoes. Gina, why haven't you changed? You promised me a ride, remember? Well, I was just working out a few kinks. I'll just be a minute or two. That is, if I uh, haven't locked my keys in my car. I don't know why you insisted on this extra rehearsal. There's no need. Well, maybe not for you, but to tell you the truth, I'm terrified. Why? This is my big chance. Dancing with one of the greatest dancers of our time. But, Gina, you're one of the best, you know that. Then maybe it's just being with you, working with you. It's been so exciting. Haven't you felt it? Gina, we played this game in New York and it never came to anything. It won't now. Thanks. Are all the, uh... 
All the men in Russia so frank and forthright? I don't want to hurt you. You're a beautiful girl, but... Oh, Koya. I feel the same way about you. What are you doing? Please, wait. Please. Please. Tonight we dine in style at my place. Our place. <laughs> I cook the best hamburgers this side of the Iron Curtain. <laughs> See, you didn't know that. <laughs> Eight o'clock tonight. 549 Pinewood Drive. You know how to get there? Don't worry. I'll find you. <laughs> Gina, what are you doing here? Who told you where I lived? Oh, little bird. So I came to help feather the nest. Now, let's see. I have coffee, tea, sugar, can opener. It's very nice of you to think of me, but um, I have to share and change. I have an appointment. Oh, you go right ahead. I'll just set things up here. Woman's work is never done. Uh, Gina, good night. Well, at least let me put the things away. Otherwise, they're going to spoil. I can manage. Now, if you'll excuse me, please. All right. Uh, another time? Mm hmm You show me around? Oh, uh, my purse. You American girls, you're so persistent. Well, we have to be. Free enterprise and all that. <sighs> I was still in the shower. Oh, this is great. Oh, yeah. Too early. That's what you call it? Please, it's not what you think. Let me explain. Go I straight to hell, Kolya. Nice job. Oh, the cake. Terrific. Why don't we just put it over here? Wait a minute. Would somebody set up another table? There's no room for the cake. Just put it on the chair. It's fine. Look, CJ, would you go downstairs and make sure that Kolya doesn't come up before it's time? <sighs> Somebody's birthday? Bliss. What a surprise. Yes, it's Kolya's. Didn't you know? Yeah, the kids uh, decided to throw him a little party. Punch? I'll pass. You say the kids arranged all this? Well, actually, it was my idea, but everybody chipped in. They'll all be here, all his new friends. How nice for Kolya. Oh, uh, you're certainly welcome to stay. No, thank you. I just came by to straighten you out, Gina. Straighten me out. <laughs> I know you said Coley up the other night, making sure I'd find you half naked like that. Set him up. Oh, is that what he told you? <laughs> so like Kolya. Look, Bliss, these things happen. If you don't back off and leave Kolya alone, Gina, I'll personally make sure you go back to the chorus line where you belong. Or since you're so good at taking your clothes off, maybe a strip joint would be more appropriate. Two can play at that. <gasps> Two 
too bad the candles weren't lit. Thank you.